I had an image of what my future looked like and I didn't like it, you know, it was, it was, it was definitely frightening. I definitely dealt with some dark days. After about a year and a half of having the MS, that's when my walking first got impacted, my strength first got impacted. That was my bottom for sure. I started using a, a cane, um, and then the cane quickly gave way to a walker and, and a wheelchair. I mean, things had moved very, very quickly. It felt uh, for a long time that MS had taken over my life. There wasn't much that it had left for me. Sports was, was taken off the table pretty early on for me. Even wheelchair-based sports, just because my, my hand-eye coordination isn't what it was, um, and my hands don't work as well as they used to. MS has changed the way me and my family interact, because they've turned into my carers as well as just my, my family. Nowadays, I depend on them a lot uh, for just about everything from cooking to cleaning to transport to being my support system as well. They're, they're really helpful in um, lifting my spirits up when I get too down. You feel very isolated when you have MS. Um, even like in a crowd you can feel alone because you're going through things. Um, just sitting there, you know, talking to people and you've got some numbness happening or you've got some random uh, sort of uh, symptoms going on that people can't see. Luckily for me, I was directed to peer support and I found this, this wonderful resource for me to, to be able to open up to someone who's going through the same problem. So suddenly I wasn't alone, I wasn't facing these, these issues all by myself. It definitely gave me that perspective that, okay, I can make the most of what I have available to me. It's really comforting to hear a voice on the other side of the line that you know he's not going to judge you or anything like that and you're going to be able to relate on the conditions that you're going through. I think it's really important that we keep this program well funded and running well. I'd hate to think that there's people out there going through what I was going through, and I know there are, especially when you first get diagnosed with MS. It's such a shock to the system. I think no one should face MS alone. I've got a great uh, support system at home. I still miss that little extra link of talking to someone with MS who can really give me that insight into how they dealt with MS. That experience, that first-hand experience is so important. We wouldn't be able to continue without your donation and the help of you wonderful donors 